Hey friends, it's Lori with the blog wagon wheel homestead.com. Welcome back today. We're here with another meal for busy seasons. We are right in the middle of summer here. Everything is really busy. And so I am going to make lunch really quick and I'm just going to show you what I do. And we're going to make easy chicken melts okay and you can put this on the sourdough sandwich bread that i will link here that i show you how to make or the amish white bread either one they're super 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 good and very fast and everyone really really likes it in my family so all positive things and since we're making chicken melts and here on this channel we try to eat exclusively out of our pantry or out of our garden okay we try to be independent from the grocery store as much as possible and save as much money there as we can we're going to be using our home canned chicken or turkey this is chicken it doesn't really matter once you can it it all tastes the same and so this is going to literally take five minutes to make i have my oven preheated at 350 degrees gonna mix this up, pop it in the oven for a little bit, and we will have some amazing chicken melts. Let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is dice up some green onions from the garden. Now, if you don't have green onions, which I typically don't have unless it's garden season, I just use regular onions, so that works just fine. And this is a very flexible recipe, which is one reason why I like it. So you don't have to get super technical with measuring. I'm gonna give you kind of the framework. And again, if you go to the blog, wagonmillhomestead.com, you will find the full printable recipe and then, you know, use your imagination, right? Add things that you think your family would like and adjust the recipe accordingly. But this will just give you kind of the framework. That looks like probably enough. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this into a bowl here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings. Just gonna put in some mayonnaise here. You can also make homemade mayonnaise, but spoiler alert, unless you can find your oil really, really cheap, which it's hard to do, I know because I'm a soap maker, so I, I watch oil prices really closely. It's actually cheaper to buy it from the store. It's probably not as healthy, right? But it's all about balance. All right, then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt, probably about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm using onion flakes because I'm out of onion powder. I get most of my spices in bulk from As Our Standard and I need to reorder my onion powder. Okay, and about a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder. I used onion flakes, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna mix this all up. Then I'm gonna open my chicken. Hear that nice pop when you open it. And I don't want the juice from this like you might use in other recipes. The broth, I'm just gonna pour it off. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of pull this out of the jar. It's always packed tightly. Pull it out of the jar and just put it right here. There, once you get it started, then it kind of will come. Nice thing about this canned chicken is it's already prepped and it's already deboned and it's already in small chunks, so it's not a lot of work required. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, and then we're gonna grate some cheese. Stir this in here. It's good to stir the sauce in well if you can. Okay, and the cheese I'm gonna use today is some mozzarella that I made a couple days ago. If you're new here, we milk a couple Jersey cows every day. So we make all of our own home dairy products. And mozzarella, I'm gonna warn you, is notoriously hard to grate, especially when it's fresh. But it's been in the fridge, chilled down, so hopefully we can get some of this grated. A lot of times for pizza, what I do is just slice pieces of it off and lay it right on top of the pizza and let it melt that way and that works really good. But for this, we definitely want it shredded. I'll tell you, if you're interested in saving money at the grocery store 
And I know it's not something everyone can do, but it's something you can work towards. Making your own dairy products is a huge cost savings. It helps you pay for your dairy cow in a quick hurry. You can also shred this really nicely through a food processor. Sometimes I have my kids just shred all of it, you know, to use on pizzas or whatever. But a lot of times, like I said, we just flake it into pieces like that and put it right on the pizza or slice it and it works just fine. Okay, I'm gonna put this probably about two cups of cheese. You wouldn't probably need to use that much, but I'm using plenty because it stretches our chicken and cheese is something we have a lot of. If you don't have as much cheese, you don't have to put as much in, okay? I'm just gonna stir this up. The green onion makes it look so pretty. You can mix this up ahead of time too. And then, you know, literally you could have supper on the table in less than 10 minutes and that most of that time would be the melts baking in the oven so you could be doing dishes or whatever else you need to be doing. All right, so now we're gonna slice, well first, what I'm gonna do, I have a daughter who is celiac, and so she can't have any of our yeast breads or our sourdough breads. So we are gonna put, this is just some gluten-free bread I have for her, and I always do hers first so that I don't contaminate her pieces with, you know, breadcrumbs or whatever. I'm just putting some of this right on her bread and I'm gonna just take this cheese and it kind of flakes off. Mozzarella is really fun stuff, depending on the batch and how it turns out. Just get a little slice here and stick kind of right over here and that will melt in. So I'm gonna set that over by the stove. Okay, and now, now we're gonna slice our bread. Nice and soft. Okay. Then here's my baking sheet. I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper on here because then I literally am not gonna have to even do any dishes for this pan. Okay, serve this on small plates and your dishes will be few. Okay, I'm gonna just lay out this beautiful bread. By the way, if you happen to have leftover bread, this is a great way to use it. This is fresher bread, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and I have two lonely pieces here. What am I gonna do with those? I'm gonna squeeze them in somewhere like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's our mix. I'm basically just gonna spread this across all of this bread as best I can. Okay, it doesn't have to be super thick. Again, in my opinion, the onion is the secret ingredient. So I always try to put fresh onion in this of some kind and, you know, this time we use the green onions, right? But can do, don't go to the store just to buy green onions for sure. Just use what you have. This is usually enough for one pan, but I had a couple extra pieces of bread, so we'll see if I can make it stretch. I'm just gonna dump this on here to make it easier. Get rid of my bowl. Spread this out. This will be fine, because sometimes the kids like smaller portions, so that will work out okay, even if it's you know, smaller amounts, right? Okay, and then I'm just gonna slice some cheese to put on top of here, and into the oven it goes. Here we go. 
well. We're gonna pop it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes just until it's toasted and golden brown on the top and it'll be time to eat. All right, I just took these out of the oven. You could turn them on broil and toast them a little bit if you wanted to, but honestly, they're good just like this. So we're gonna have them with some fresh garden salad, a deviled egg, maybe some pickled beets or dilly beans from the pantry, and that will be a yummy summer lunch. all plated up with the dilly beans. I also forgot to tell you one of my favorite things to add to this is sweet dill pickles cut up really small and I'll be showing you how to make those pickles. This is what they look like. They're so good. They're our family's favorite. Anyway, you can put that in with your chicken mixture and it just gives it an extra little bit of flavor. So you can change it up from time to time. But yeah, pickles are also a great addition. So Anyway, we're gonna eat and I hope that you enjoy this. If you like these kinds of videos and you wanna know how to cook out of your pantry and live independently of the grocery store, I encourage you to like and subscribe to this channel as we will have a lot more of that to share in the near future. Mm -hmm.